All right, so I'm playing Vampire Knight by Namco. Um, it's a, a gun con game on the PS2. I've never played it before, um, but I'm a huge fan of vampires. Um, I like uh, Christopher Pike, The Last Vampire, Black Blood. Um, not in that order. Carolyn B. Cooney, The Vampire's Promise. Vampire. My favorite vampire series, though, of course, is uh, Cirque du Freak by Darren Sean. Um, it's an entire series. I also like um, uh, The Demonata by Darren Sean. It's pretty cool. It's another book similar to Cirque du Freak and the Darren Sean uh, author. And I guess uh, other vampire books are like Stephen King, Salem's Lot. And then... Uh, Bloodline, and then uh, Thirsty, Thirsty by M.T. Anderson, and Bloodline by Kate Carey. Um, I think uh, basically my favorite was uh, Carolyn B. Cooney, The Vampire's Promise, and then obviously uh, Cirque du Freak. So I'm going to play uh, Vampire Night. So I'm just going to do arcade mode. arcade mode. In my Dino Stalker stream, I mentioned all of the uh, gun con controller games. So Scarlet Snow Prelude, Chapter 1. Be gone now, for your time has long since passed. Take your places in ancient history. All right. So it looks like it has two players, which is kind of cool. here at last. Yes. How long I've waited for this moment. Let us settle this once and for all. Who shall live and who shall die? Looks like nothing survived here, too. They're coming. And so you shoot with X. Circle. It's pretty simple. Right now, I straight up, uh, I forgot whatever the movie is with Hugh Jackman and, uh, oh, Van Helsing. So, Van Helsing is a really cool vampire movie. And I also like, uh, 30 Days of Night. That's a really sick movie with, uh, vampires. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, uh, I was a huge fan of Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula. That was a really good book, also. Definitely worth reading. It's a little difficult if you're in, like, grade school, but I was able to do it in grade school. Oh, if you shoot the the parasites off of them, you save them. Please help the others. Wait, who are you? We hunt the creatures of the dark, vampire hunters. That's pretty funny. Not really sure if there's any like vampire shows, uh, to be honest. Um, like I didn't watch Buffy or anything. Hmm. As might have been expected of a vampire hunter. Wonderful. What interesting experimental material they are. As expected, not bad. 
Interesting. Let's see them do better. I mean, Blade was a cool series too. Right. Let's go. I always forget yeah. about Blade. That series was like super creepy, like the OB zombie. And like Underworld too. That's like a pretty cool vampire series. Oh wow, dude. So, I mean, the aiming in this game is pretty fun. I'm obviously just playing with a, a traditional controller. So, this game's also uh, silver on the PS2, like silver back. So, it's kind of uh, difficult to uh, load if you don't have, if you have a scratched disc. So in uh, Cirque du Freak, the series, um, basically, uh, like it starts off and like you're not a vampire and then basically, okay, so you press start, you get four lives. Um, so basically you start off and then obviously uh, Crespley, he basically uh, takes you under his wing and I don't want to really ruin the story, but like I thought like Tiny was a super cool character, he reminded me of... Uh, like VV and the Dark Waltz in Final Fantasy IX, and uh, like he had like a lot of like time kind of changing thing, like uh, the guy in Lost or whatever. Why? Like with like the time Why teleportation and stuff. And uh, I thought like the whole idea of like the Vampanese is pretty cool, and how like the Vampanese like they're be. evil My in uh, Cirque du Freak, and they basically. Uh, like they feed so much so that like um, they actually feed like they drink all of the blood like every single drop so that's kind of what's a little bit different between like uh, the main character who only like feeds enough uh, just to just to like stay like uh, like in like vampire form or whatever and I mean it's like a 12 or 10 book series or whatever it's really good. Obviously, I used to read like every single horror book um, in Barnes and Noble. So, as far as they weren't trying to do any like Matrix games like this. Amazing. Your powers. I am the one who serves the vampire. What a joy. Finally meet such powerful ones. Draw your guns. Don't disappoint me. So, uh, the Demonatas, like another Darren Sean series, um, but it just like features like demons, uh, which is pretty cool. Like I was a huge fan of like horror books. Um, I mean, like eventually, I guess I could show like some more of my favorite books, but for now, I just showed my vampire books. Carolyn B. Cooney. Uh, Vampires Last Promise is pretty cool though. Basically it takes place in like the vampire's house and uh, like they get like stuck in a room. I'm pretty sure I haven't read it again recently, but they get like stuck in a room and like the vampire like, uh, like they have to like 
find a way to get out. And oh, that's really cool, sorry. But yeah, I mean, Christopher Pike, he's gonna have like a Netflix show called uh, The Midnight Club on Netflix. And, I mean, that's kind of cool. Because uh, I know R.L. Stein, like, he wrote Goosebumps. Like, I read, like, all of his, like, uh, Summer of Fear series and a lot of his books, like, every Goosebumps. And uh, I liked uh, The Haunted Mask, Night of the Living Dummy, Monster Blood, um, Werewolf, Skin, uh, Fever Swamp. And quite a few more. I have like my goosebumps basically uh, ranked, but I'm not sure like what order. Haunted Mask 2 was also cool. cool. Monster Blood 1 through 3 was good. And basically, like a Summer of Fear series was like more like uh, like teenage horror, like young adult horror. Like, they were like partiers and like stuff like that. And it was like basically Buffy, except in literature form. And uh, basically, uh, let me think, like Summer of Fear. Yeah, Arl Stein also has a uh, Fear Street series, which uh, has three shows on Netflix that are. I watched one of them, I didn't really like it. I thought the acting was kind of bad, but the part in the mall with like lava lamps was kind of cool. I didn't particularly like it, um, sadly, but I'm hoping, I'm hopeful for uh, Christopher Pike's uh, Midnight Club because he was a really good author. Kind of sad. I mean, this could have been a pretty fun game. Um, I mean, two players. Uh, Time Crisis Four is also two players, and like I have like like four uh, Gun Con Three controllers on the PS3, and that game has like perfect aiming and and everything. And it's kind of annoying how even still, like with this entire like massive gaming collection. Um, people are still that kind of whack. Those two humans, we are not made for defeat. You're no vampire. <laughs> have you gone crazy pointing a gun at me? I wonder who made uh, 30 Days of Night. I know, uh, like, 28 Days Later, like, that uh, director, he's actually making a new uh, movie called Men, which I haven't seen. Yeah, this guy could throw all the Z3s at me. I feel like I'm like fighting Coco Puffs right now. Yeah, this game, the aiming's really good in it. I also have, like, House of the Dead uh, 2 and 3 on Wii, which uh, should be pretty fun. I also have it on PS3. Like, they had it, like, digital download. But, uh, Gun Con 3 didn't work on it. You needed the whatever one it was for Killzone 3, or whatever, um, which I got, so 
I just never bothered to unbox that. It's a pretty cool, like, castle and stuff. I also have this book, uh, so similar to like Thirsty, which is, I don't know, just like deadpan and funny. Uh, I also have a book called Crooked, and it basically has like a, uh, like a glass, um, it has like a glass of milk and it's like, it's like something to the side, and it's just called Crooked, the book. I'm pretty sure it was decent. I, I used to have like, a lot of horror books that, like, I bought at, like, used bookstores that I returned, which I'm kind of upset about, but, uh, Or, like, books I rented from the library, and I don't even know what they are. I love how I'm like blowing these dudes up with my mind. I don't even know what movie that is. That was close. Thank you. Light Take up. this. What was that waiting? That movie is so funny. Say like, you suck. You suck. You're cool. My old friend tried to make like uh, the bat wing, like a thing. I also never read that Salem's Lot by uh, Stephen King, but I did show that before. Ah, game over. That was a good attempt. So I got halfway through the game. Alright, so I'm gonna save and log off and play some other game. I don't know. I was thinking like Dynasty Warriors, Extreme Legends, whatever. 